the bottom of the dolphin. It's our hope that you are knowing a lot more about these amazing animals and have our new respect for the ocean and the waterways we share with them. Now here at Dolphin Stadium, we are home to 13 bottlenose dolphins divided up into three different social groups. Now the group you just met was our group of five dolphins, and in just a minute, you're gonna meet our group of six dolphins that is gonna come out this adjacent pool right over here. Now we have six pools here that are all connected by underwater doorway systems, and the dolphins utilize all the spaces throughout the day. All right, we're gonna get things started by introducing you to one of the dolphins you came for. Coming up, this is Marvel. Marvel is a bottlenose dolphin, which is just one of several different species of whales and dolphins, also known as cetaceans, that can be found right off the Florida coast. All the dolphins you'll meet today were born within our SeaWorld parks, and they range in age from 14 all the way up to 45 years old. After today's presentation, be sure to visit us next door at Key West Dolphin Boat, where you can learn even more and get an up-close look at this amazing marine mammal. Now that we've met some of our pod, let's dive in and talk about what makes dolphins so cool. Nature has given them some amazing adaptations that allow them to navigate, forage, and even to play. One of these is the blowhole located right on top of their heads. Now this is where they bring air from, but it's also where they vocalize and communicate from. So let's listen in. Now dolphins can use this blowhole to hold their breath while they forage for prey which largely consists of fish, squid, and even the occasional crustacean. To catch that fast-moving slippery fish, dolphins use their powerful tails to reach speeds of up to 22 miles per hour. They can also use those powerful tails to get a better look above the surface, getting all the way up and out of the water. Engaging our dolphins both physically and mentally allows us to give them the best care possible and provides exceptional animal welfare. Through this care, we form bonds and relationships with them, much like you would with a dog at home. And while dolphins seem to be natural athletes, it's our mutual love of play that provides that connection between us. And over the past 60 plus years, SeaWorld has learned that their play ultimately leads to our discoveries. So while today's playtime may just seem like a lot of impressive jumps and spins, it's actually an essential part of how we care for them. Just watch.
or even to play with trash. So what can we do to help? Simple things can have big impacts. Recycle, join a beach cleanup, properly discard a fish line and plastic bottles. Better yet, choose reusable items and reduce the amount of waste that we all produce. It's small actions like these that can go a long way in protecting ocean life. Sarah and I are just two of over 350 zoological professionals on the Sea World team. Collectively, this team not only provides world-class care for these dolphins, but we facilitated the rescue of 40,000 animals with the goal of rehabilitating and returning them to their natural habitat. And that's all for this appeal. Your visit today matters, and without your support, we won't be able to continue this good work and save wildlife that needs our help. So on behalf of our entire animal care team, we say thank you. When we care for our world and take action on behalf of the animals that call it home, that's part of the legacy we leave behind. And that legacy is one that's worth celebrating.